So hey guys, what's up? In this video, we're gonna be breaking Mr. Beast's finger on the phone challenge. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so about a day ago, 20 hours to be exact, Mr. Beast released um, an Instagram post on his new challenge, which is last to take their finger off the app wins $25,000. It's right here. All right, so to this post. Okay, so this is the app format. And I'll be honest, we're not really doing this to make money. If we win it, we're probably not gonna keep all of it. This is just something fun to do. So if I click practice mode, you have to keep your finger on the app and you can see how it shows where your finger box is. And this is sort of our plan. So we're gonna have an EV3 robot just sliding, doing the same pattern over and over. But he created an anti-bot measure which is that box, which has to be hit in five seconds. So if a program's fast enough, it should work perfectly fine. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw out the idea. We're gonna be using an EV3, we're gonna be using an EV3 Mindstorms kit, which is basically a Lego robotics kit, which you can program. I'll show you that in a second. But just right now, I'll show you my design. So, right here. Okay, so right here we have a box, right? This is gonna be our main idea. We'll have the brain right here, which is the EV3. And then I'm gonna have an iPhone 4S, because that is the, you can't see anything. Actually you can. So I'm gonna be using the iPhone 4S because it's the smallest phone we have. And that'll make it super easy because if it's a huge screen, the motion will be bigger. Then if it's a small screen, we can just make small jittery motions because we need it to be randomized. So right here, we're gonna have a motor and a motor here. So the motors are gonna have rails. On these rails, damn, I didn't think about this. Okay, so one of these motors, this motor will be fixed. So this will be fixed onto the board, right? And this rail will be sliding along here. And right here, this is the key. We're gonna have a little stylus with our phone right here. So my pattern is, this is the phone. The sauce is gonna go like this, zigzag. But the only problem with that is, I trust Mr. Beast, I know he's smart. So he's gonna have an anti-bot measure. The first, his measure, is you have to be on a certain spot at a certain time. That will be fixed by our zigzag pattern. But they didn't explain this, but I feel like they have a randomizer where if they find out that there's a pattern and it's a strict pattern like this, they're gonna find out that it's not legitimate and then we're gonna be kicked out. But my idea is in the program, I'm a bit rusty, but I got to the highest position of our local FLL in the first year. And I'm gonna try and build a program which will be randomized and then it'll almost be impossible to detect. So I'll show you our hardware. Okay, so I'll show you our hardware. So this is the EV3 brick we're gonna be using. This has ports which I can attach the two motors to and I can program all of it on this and I can have constant power supply running. And that is a huge bonus. That is gonna be one of the major parts in this. We also have this large motor, and this will be, and this is the large motor. This one has super high torque, and this is gonna be the brunt, and this is also heavy. So this will be fixed onto our machine, and it'll be holding second motor. Considerably lighter, but it still has nice torque. So this will be fixed like this, and it'll move the cursor this way, and this will be on the slide, so it can move the cursor this way. So let's get straight into building. Okay, so change of plans. We're using a 5S. This was my mom's old work phone. And that's what we're gonna use right now. So. One second. Okay, so right now we're not gonna worry about where to put this because this can just be on the side. It's not like a real competition. 
where everything has to be Lego. Because if I wanted to, I could just weld everything. But this is the challenge, doing it with only EV3 parts. So my plan is just to create a box for this right now. So. Okay, so this is our base. Our phone is not insanely tight, but I might end up putting some shims in, so it's just locked. And then... Okay, so I understand that there's no tension on these pins right now. But this should work for a little bit for testing purposes. And then we can have this all nice and calibrated. So now we have to build our motor attachment, which we will be using our large motor for this. So we just have to decide how to attach this. I think that looks good. That that looks good. Right. Oh my god. Okay, so we have one motor mounted shouldn't do that I'll mess up the motor so my plan is I'm gonna build a wooden mount and have a hole so I can plug the port into here just put it back on snug everything up all right now is the hard part
All right, so we have two hours. I don't have a program, and the robot doesn't work. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I am officially the king of procrastination. It starts in about less than an hour. The firmware stop stopped working. I can't program it. I can't connect to my computer, and I don't have a program yet. So, we'll see what happens. All right, guys. This is sad, but unfortunately, it's not gonna work. I should have checked this out in the beginning, but I believe that they have a system to tell if you're using a bot or not. If I return to home practice mode, I have to keep it on, right? And then she needs to focus. This is why. Could be my stylus, could be my case, but it gave out. Okay, so we're gonna change course. I mean, it's probably not gonna happen. I'm still gonna try though. And I'm still gonna create a program, but I'm still gonna compete with my fingers, so let's get straight into it. All right, so there's a system bug. I don't really know what it is. I mean, my program theoretically should work, but it's not letting me connect to the robot because I'm using Python, which is still sort of in its beta. There's a bunch of bugs with it. But yeah, I'm still gonna try and make a program for the sake of it. Might not be ready in an hour. Might have to work out some bugs or go on some forums, figure out what's happening. But I'm still gonna try and compete in it, so see what happens. Okay, so this is basically the program I had to test if I could get the EV3 to work with my computer, and it eventually ended up not working. I got it to work for 10 minutes, and then it stopped. But I'll just walk you through it. It basically just tells all the motor to get ready and says what motors I'm gonna be using. I have X motor, I think this is A. And this is the B port. So I have other way around. And then I have it first go right. Then the Y motor will bring it up. Then the X motor will bring it left. Then it'll keep on repeating up, left, up, left. Then it'll come back down. I don't know if I wrote it here, but that was my basic program. And I was going to have a database of about maybe 10 or so of this type program. So that I could have the program select a number between 1 through 10. Whichever number it selects will run that program, which will end up making it randomized. But, you know, we had some issues, which didn't allow us to do that. But it was a good learning experience, and you know what they say. Alrighty, we just got a notification. T minus 10 minutes and counting. Let's see what we can do. Robot stopped working. As I explained, the stylus went out. But you know, learning experience. And, and in my opinion, I think that this isn't a one-time thing. I think the Mr. Beast collaboration is one time, but I was downloading the app on my iPad, so I get two lives. And then I read it, there was no mention of Mr. Beast. So I think it's gonna be like the game HQ. We're like, I think every week they're probably going to do a giveaway. So you can bet that there's going to be a part two. So yeah, I'll see you when it starts. But, so I was looking at the description of the app since we can't do it on the robot. So I tried to boot it on my iPad and I read it. It said, there was no mention of Mr. Beast. So that makes me think that this is not a one-time thing. That they're going to do this over and over again, just like the game HQ. And they're going to keep on giving money away. And Mr. Beast is just a way to get their name out there. So, you can bet there's going to be part two. And I'll talk to you once the competition starts. Alrighty, so the game starts in 10 seconds. I just sprinted down from upstairs. I didn't get that two lives, but two devices. And let's see what happens. The robot's not going to work, but it's worth a try. Seems fun. Alright. Why do I have zero extra? Oh, I have three extra lives, I bet. Um, 
Okay, so what I figured out just now is it's random for each player. So they're not having one program for everybody. They have a randomizer. This also tells me that their program has a randomizer to tell if our program isn't randomized. So in my first program idea, it would not have worked. But in my second one, it would have. So in about a week or so, there should be another upload on a retry and we're gonna win. And even if we don't, it's not a big deal. I mostly just did this for the sake of competition and just to see if I could. So yeah, uh, let's see how long we can do this. I believe I have three lives, so use extra life, okay. So, okay, so I have two more lives, okay. Oh my God, my finger, okay. So I have now two lives on both devices. So let's see what happens. I'll talk to you in a little bit on the results. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bippity boppity. Let's go. See, I'm gonna be a nice guy, give these guys as much money as they want. Okay, so now the Mr. Beast competition is now closed. Uh, we know that five people won money. The fifth place person won 10 grand. All four top four places won 20. And the first one won a Tesla on top of that 20. Which I'll admit is quite impressive. But I know I wasn't cut out for that. Doing it with my hand or the robot. As it was a bit too flimsy. And I couldn't. And I couldn't get the program to boot on the EV3 at the last second. So yeah, it's okay. It was a learning experience. But I found something fun. Um, I, I got out after 15 minutes because I got bored of it. And I knew I wasn't going to win. So then a day after, I went on my iPad. And got an extra life. I switched the time back. Then back to current time. Which forced me back in the game. And I mean, I, I, I took myself out again because... I don't know. I didn't want to cheat too badly. But yeah, put on my story, everyone sucked it up. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. In the next video, we're going to be building a human tracker. Probably using a laser first, then building up to radio, then building up to tracking stars. So I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. Hello. You guys are in my basement. It's a fun place. Ask all the kids that are here.